Hi, Eric. Um, what's the overriding emotion after that match, and what do you think of Marcus Rashford's red card? <laughs> it's clear we are very disappointed, and uh, because you play very good, I think um, we started the game so well. Well, best uh, minutes of this season, uh, we are winning the game, and I think the red card changes everything. And then we could see two goals before halftime, which should never have count. Eh? First is offside, second the penalty. And that is eh, in four games, four, four penalties against. And where I say three are very debatable. And what do you think of the red card? It's also harsh. I think he, he went for the ball. And the referee has so a long time, they need so, such a long time to make it a red card. Samuel. With the red card, it seemed like the replay, um, there was freeze framing and slow-mo of it. Do you think that's a flaw of VAR in that it, there's a danger it takes the challenge out of context and it doesn't present it properly? You say it very good. I think when you freeze it, it looks always so, so worse. And as I say, it takes then so long and they make a red card of it and I... Uh, so I feel uh, I'm very disappointed about such decisions. I think the game is never meant uh, uh, to be uh, like this. This has nothing to do with, uh, with football, uh, with uh, uh, decisions has to be made. And I accept that there are also uh, uh, wrong decisions are made. But if I sum it up, when you make on this level uh, three such tough decisions, uh, you uh, you control the game, and I think the game is never meant to be for that. And just with the group, the bigger picture now is that you have to go to Istanbul and, and, and win that. Do you still see belief in the squad despite the disappointment of tonight that you can progress? Uh, this, this, this squad is resilient, and the whole, the whole season, uh, so many decisions are against us. Uh, so many setbacks for in for injuries, and every time there is a spirit and a vibe, and we will keep going because I'm sure that I, I said the lads just it will turn. It will on one moment in the season it will turn in our favour. One, one here, Scott. Eric, what can you say about the players' attitude, particularly when you got back to two-two and the way you were resilient in that second half, and obviously then got the penalty yourselves. Yeah, it's um, uh, f football is a game of mistakes. I will not say that we did everything right, but I take a lot of positives. Eh? Even with ten men, ten men, we were dictating the game, eh? and we played very good. And so, yeah, we are very disappointing that uh, that in the end that you take nothing from this because uh, it should have gone different. How much of that attitude that you saw there tonight gives you or enhances the belief that things will turn, as you said? Yeah, but, uh, again, I think the attitude was great from uh, from the lads. And uh, they fought as a team, so together, all on one page, um, fought for every yard on the pitch, shoulder on shoulder. So I can't uh, make any criticism on the team for that. Yeah, one at the back. 12 minutes between the red card FC Copenhagen equalising to make it 2-2. Do you feel as if your team is getting need something in terms of game game management to close things out? Yeah, but as I said, what can you do for it? And when the first is an offside goal, uh, is a play in front of Andre. The second, it's like a, a ball on the hand, uh, but it's defending. But it's so close, and the hand are in a normal position. So what can you do for it? The same like Christian Eriksen uh, in uh, in Munich. What can you do for it? And with also for Scott McTominay, it's very debatable. And uh, I think um, the game can't be like this. Eh? That it has to be a certain aspect of objective. And that's not the case. Uh, I say we didn't do any everything right. But I say we did uh, many things right tonight. But still, we are there with... Um, with no points, and we are very disappointed about that. Just one here. <clears throat> with the decisive decisions that you that you mentioned, uh, do you think that it's it, it was an un unfair result, or how do you see that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on. Hey, the first uh, 25 minutes, 
Eh? We dictating, dominating the game. Eh? We're 2 0 up, and then the red card changes everything. And even with uh, when we are downsized to 10, eh? we are keeping control of the game. Yeah, we are very disappointed. Uh, last question, Mike. Um, uh, Johnny Evans, uh, we didn't see the replay. What was the injury? Is it a bad injury? I, I'm not sure in this moment. Um, he has to come off. I think it was a pity because he was part of it uh, from uh, that good part in the game where we were controlling, uh, very composed and calm. It's the way uh, I, I see my team. Um, yeah, but he had to come off. And yeah, and then um, uh, I think still we are in control. <laughs> still we are leading. So um, yeah, we have to see how bad it is and but uh, it's not about 11 plays uh, we have more plays and we have good plays so uh, we can uh, we have good uh, replaces uh, to solve that out and bruno was hit hit by some um, missiles when he was taking a corner just um yeah, he was hit by something from the crowd but thrown at did you see that Your no I, I didn't see that okay thank you very much